Hey, what's going on everyone? This is yours surely back from the video and today we're gonna be trying not to save watch off lane because I kind of did talk a lot about how save watch just feels really kind of bad in this kind of untankless meta. Uh, he did got some buffs, some um, tank arms got some buffs too, but the one didn't feel like they're like drastic significant buffs, they're just little nudges because that's kind of how a meta like balance team kind of does stuff. They kind of nudge balance here and there. They don't really shove or push they take like a couple of patches before something finally gets like super nerf or super buff but this is the first step in the right direction at least for save walk enjoyers out there and we're gonna just try just see how he kind of feels and give you guys a more updated build on save walk because i actually think that you don't want to do five boss in first most of the time you want to actually go elephars first because it's kind of like the same reason why i do elephars first and like my ritual and some of my other like offline kind of tank builds it just it feels really um good to have that man regen early and it just gives you like it's just a little bit more better value i really think the whole like um uh, fire blossom feels not as strong as it used to be so i don't think you want to rush that all the time necessarily So gonna focus on stacking, that's kinda like what you want to do on save walk. Once you get like one, two items and more stacks online, that's when you can start to um, do a little bit more stuff with him. So save it's gonna be a little bit annoying to go against, but it's not too bad um, as we build more items against him. Because Elephoss is naturally gonna be good against him. I'm probably thinking let's do fire boss in second so we get more armor against him. And I did that swing a little bit too wide so I actually didn't get the hit or last hit on the minion. I did that too late. So you don't want to fall in the trap of using your E too much because if you use your E too much, you actually want the mana a little bit too fast. So you want to be a little bit careful of using your E when we're trying to secure last set. You want to find out using your Q only most of the time. So I'm gonna just go ahead focus on range minions because I'm trying to see if I can get multiple stacks off. Then got that one. Maybe I'll get this E off. I think the only reason why I don't really play Sevog a whole lot is because like whenever I like to play offlaners, I like to use my ability to trade with my opponent. But it just kind of feels like going against a Sarah's, you just don't do that right. Oh, not just to say, just in general, you can't use your build to trade with your pod because you have to use your build to first farm. So that's kind of like the frustrating part for me. It's like I want to trade with my opponent, but I just can't because that's not how the skewer functions for the most part. You kind of have to let the people bore you and you focus on your farm because that's going to be your win condition. I'm not going to bother going to for tier buff because it's just too slow to do it early on as a sev. So yeah, you just gotta like, um, give it up for now and just try to do it some other time. Like the only way I can probably get it is if Sarah's is back, is not here, is pretty much what it is. Okay, we see Grayson on the 3 cam. Um, that's just good information for us. It, we can wait to use the army to get out if we have to. And you kind of see why I'm lacking the Elephoss idea first because it's going to allow us to get that man regen early on so we can sack for longer. Because right now we're always done with our mana. We haven't really used our E that whole lot often. So imagine we're using our E. We probably just got our mana already, right? And I have to sit back here just because the Graystone probably is looking at me if I step up too far. Okay, he's gonna go for it. Uh, I honestly don't think it's worth trying to contest him because it's just because it's a 50 50 if I get it or not. Whereas I have all these minions in front of me that I could be farming. So I'm just gonna focus on this minion wave for now. It just means that he's gonna get his HP back. I have like really no, not a lot of man to work with. It just is what it is, right? Okay. Oh, E root. Oh, he didn't, he didn't even want to go on that. That's surprising. Usually, like, I'll just get E root and then, like, the crunch can follow up on that, right? Uh, crunch is probably. Yeah, he has no blink. Okay, 
Luckily he survived, but that was just kind of really weird. Like he just immediately turned away when I set up the E root to get the um Gideon, right? Not the game to say what that means. Yeah, I really want it back, um, but I just can't with this mini wave. I'm gonna lose if I do so. So I'll kind of shoot for now. I mean, I'm even CS with him, which is actually fine. All these consider like the hardest part of dev is the early game when you have to balance your HP and your mana pool, but also trying to farm on top of that. I don't get this minions, unfortunately. I do see Sarah's backing, so let me just go ahead, push this one wave out, and then we'll take out reset finally. There we go. Alright, uh, we're gonna be a little bit off from other farms, but more important, but it's gonna be important to back to get the man region, that's gonna really help out a lot actually. And all the defensive items too, so the tail doesn't get to bully us as hard. So, we get LS Fox fully online, we're gonna go double at mana regen. The 150% base mana regen is actually gonna feel really good if we want to just keep on farming and way in lane. And then we can go 5 blocks in a second, and once we have that, that's when we have the damage to really run down the sails if we really want to. Because, like, sales is, is, is on a timer, like, right? Because I'm going to always outscale um, the Ceres, um in this matchup, right? Because Ceres is actually one of the more worst offlanes in terms of the higher sustained damage. She has burst damage, but that burst damage doesn't really mean much against like a tank like Sevlog, right? Okay. Wow, he's like doing so much damage. I mean, I know Sev is, is strong and Sev is weak, but it's, it's just kind of surprising, actually. I guess I gotta be a little bit careful, because, I mean, Sev is just overtuned and Sev Rock is still a little bit underperforming at the moment. Push him away, gets rid of the Coliseum. Do that. It's all team. Just keep going. Walking away. Lock up? Yes. Huge. Nice job. Yeah, I need to I wanna farm this wave a little bit. By the way, I'm kinda in that kill threshold, so I'd be careful about getting executed by Sarah's um B. Nice job. Nice. I, I'm pretty sure Sarah still had bling. He was just getting a little bit greedy with holding onto it to bait us into the tower, but my E and then the knockback by the crunch actually stun locked him, so he actually couldn't blink out after that. So well played by him. So I'll push that out and I can just go give my stuff a two buff. That's great stuff. So now we get Elephant online. That's more mana region for ourselves. That's gonna be really big. And also we get the damage AoE, so it becomes easier to push out waves, even though we don't have five blossoms necessarily. Nice, nice. Yep, and now we're just on that maybe way um to victory right here. Cause we can we can probably swap to get a little bit more aggressive on Sarah's, although he went like augmentation. That's gonna be really hard to try evenly back because the true damage is a little bit annoying. I know. You, that's great. Push him in the tower to do a lot of damage. Mini farm, huh? I guess I can't go all in on that because I might just get gained. But we're gonna chunk his health bar, so it's gonna be a bit easier to all in on him if he gets too greedy, right? Nice. 
Nice. Whenever you see opportunity to push someone to tower and get like two tower shots, three tower shots, you should just take that. Okay, that's a lot of damage they're gonna take for free, and you're just gonna be able to something to force out blinks because sometimes people panic when that happens. Um, I think we can push this tower for a little bit. We see Grace on the left side, so may or may not get the tower. Main thing is that I want to catch the next wave, bomb that, and back off if I have to. So I'll just snag these last two minions, then we can back off. Let's get Brimstone now, that's gonna be a, a lot of good sustained damage coming into play. Note that this is cap at a turn damage, so you want to finish fire, fire blossom so you get that damage to actually scale up as the game goes on. Um, I'll probably have to go to mid actually and catch that wave. Let's try to see if we can salvage this mid tower. Oh, it's actually huge right now. I thought Crunch was coming over mid for a sec, but he kind of backed off, so I won't go too hard on that. Okay, trying to all in on that, I guess. Trying to push him towards over here. Get the wood off. Spray on him. Nice. I mean, he asked for that fight, and your surely is gonna gladly oblige, uh, even though we know we can just win that. Because, like I said, Zeus is kind of bad for long sustained damage as the game goes on. So, against tanks, he kind of struggles a bit, as you guys saw. A3 stacks. Um, a little bit halfway, I guess, 13 minutes. We could be a bit more efficient if I was the best Sevrock player, but I'm still just an average show on the Sevrock, so I'll take what I can get on my stacking. Wow, you really just want to keep throwing hands. Okay, that's going to be a blink. Okay. Uh, this time we have to blame because that's gonna like um execute us. Wow, Grace on heal? Okay. I mean I'm hoping my punch should get two kills for free. And since we're getting so much physical, we can probably just go for a bit of our for a second item. Actually no. That's a that's the thing. That item actually no longer has physical armor, so now it's like a general just item to just fit into more spells. And we're just gonna go with this item because we kind of want to build magical resist against the um, Gideon and the Grim, and having all this HP right here actually helped out quite a bit. Let's go Razor Back. I think Razor Back is just a better item than Sophia's Mental, given how Texas Mental is feeling a little bit less. So the second component of Sophia's Mental doesn't feel as good. Um, so we're going to focus on Razorback popping it when we can gain ultimate, and we're going to reflect a lot of damage back at him. And I guess if Q is pushing right, gain left, not gain 80 left, then I might as well focus pushing mid then. Although I see dual lane right here, so I might add the back off because I might get Zeroth ulted. What the heck? They're trying to throw hands right now. Ah. Uh, I'll try to do a quick trade on him, but it seems like that's not gonna really fly. It's what it is. I'll just kinda know him. Because I'm trying to focus on pushing out this um, wave. What the? Okay, I guess I showed that a little bit. Mm, 
that's that's kind of push that my punch died. I mean, surely, okay, it looks like he's not gonna back off just yet. Okay, Yes is still trying to alt us. I uh, might get it off. Okay, I guess we that's gonna happen. Oh well, we get the T1, we get both the T mid still and left because I pushed out that wave, so. Not a bad trade if we can get two towers. So I'm fine with that. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna finish finish Fist of Rise 2 first. Then I'll build Flux Matrix. So kind of like a full item core. Then probably gonna have to build Tainted Guard. Just gain some more physical armor is good. And it's gonna be good to um, reduce the healing. Like the Greystone, for example. Uh, that was a very crushable wall right there, Fang one. Uh, by the way, background is kind of like a notoriously good support, and that did not like a good support play on the world support. But it's still a kill, so we take it. Okay, we need 60 more stacks so we can get the full shoulder pads. So I'll just keep pushing for now. I mean, several was one of those more selfish split pushers, which I should be doing a little bit more but, um, instead of rotating. So I'll just go ahead and focus on that. That's alright. Because all I care about is just farming. It. We're still shocking him, by the way. Yeah, half HP. Pretty big. It's being a bit annoying, so it's kind of hard to go on that. Let's see if I can get him the bait to come into me. Dodge that. Okay, that's gonna be his bling. Spray on him, because I think it's starting to get a little bit tilted playing against me, so... Whatever thing that I can do to break his mental further so he makes more mistakes, it's gonna be a bigger win for me in the long run. So yeah, Sarah's is pretty disgusting. Like, I'm going like double armor against him, but I still feel like I'm getting chunk here and there. And Sarah's is there for another 10, so I think I'll try to see if I can push for T2 tower. Okay, I won't, because yeah, it's a Gideon now. I'll be out. I'll have to blink that. Kinda of force out the blink, but it is what it is. I have Fist of Rasu. Um, that's gonna be great to finish that item out. And I'm still kinda of slacking on the soul stacking, not gonna lie. But I think really good set players get the full stack between 20 and 25 minutes. I may get the past 25. We'll see. It depends on if I can actually grab waves to farm because if you got my right side, I'll just go mid then. Good job, game's dead, so I'm kind of free to push this out then for a bit. Messed up my stacking right there, unfortunately. Again, I'm not like really the premier Devok enjoyer, so I'm kind of just average on sword stacking on him. An enemy tower is under attack. Oh, I have to left hit this, unfortunately. 1 to 28, so 
I guess I just need about three more waves and maybe that'll be enough. Probably four, depending on if I can actually last hit this. Okay, I see people moving on the right side, so I'll go ahead and rotate help my team out. Okay, it's gonna be the blink. Wow. Okay, that sucks. That we didn't get the last hit that I wanted to. I mean, I guess we could just do farm. Stealing farm sounds really good on me to save player. Nice. Okay, it seems like there's a wall right there if Grim is able to shoot me. I'll just keep on the left angle, trying to get them a little bit scared to walk forward a bit. Alright, now they're going all in. Let me press on forward. Nice. Got the kill. I guess I can go through mid since it's a little bit faster. Just dash through, so I take just one tower shot. Mm, we may have to disengage, is the thing. Maybe. He's doing some good work, though. Got the boot down. We probably have to. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get on top of him given how low our HP is. Okay, one for one. And uh, cleanse that. We just we can back off. I don't think we can chase that anymore. So nice. Not too bad for us. I'll take the river buff, take the mid wave, and try to see if we can get to 160 sacrifice back. Uh, Kira's grabbing my white, white wave, so I can't grab that. There we go. I see a game right there, but I just gotta take my back so I can get my HP back. 23 minutes. Um, yeah, I probably want to just farm somewhere, but Kira and Nigga keep taking my right side, so I gotta keep bouncing over the players to find some suitable spot to farm. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be sort of a, a um, past 25 minute mark, I think, for my 160 stacks, but it's not too bad. If you, if you can at least get it before 30 minutes, then you're groovy. And I hate how AQ took all that, so I can't get my 160 still. So let's go left then, because I just want to farm somewhere, anywhere, without interruption by my team or the enemy team. And Grace was on his 5 camp, so. Good try. Uh, I was trying to see if I can steal anything, and that was a little bit too late. Wait, my other five box killed it. I'm actually sad. That's like what the third can of what I missed because of the unfortunate circumstances. But I guess we go for the third thing too, since my team is just doing a lot of distraction on that side of the map. Right, that doesn't kill. Okay, I'm actually just missing a ton of minions because I'm just not used to the kill threshold for Sevox stacking. Oh my god, my cannon! Okay. Well, literally just one more minions and then we'll give 160. That'll be the threshold, then I can do web stacking afterwards. Okay, so it's coming over this side. We're just gonna leave. Is there a two camp up? No, there isn't. Okay. 
Gun's just not looking to engage, so I just back off. Come on, I just need like one cannon at this point and I get 160. So I'm gonna go right. Because I keep just keep going across the map just trying to find find farm. Alright, there we go. Finally got the show big show of pads. A little bit late on that, but better late than never as I do say. So go ahead and just knock down this T2 tower on the right side. Maybe we'll take the mid since um seems like a big fight going on over there. At Blink Alt, I'm trying to look at probably the TB. Actually no, let's look at the Grim because he's actually strong right now. Oh my god, okay. A kill to kill, we'll take that. All of them down, so I guess we push for inhibitor. Oh, someone needs to go defend right. On oh, left, I mean. So we might lose that left inhibitor, but we should get um one for two right here. So it's not the worst trade in the world. Hmm. Maybe push with the end. Or they try to take one more kill. Okay, knock him in. Why right, his his dash goes to people? I didn't know that. Kind of crazy. Well, oh, Elephant actually do so much damage on par, by the way. Nice, got with him just on the edge. I don't have to fight the TP so I can off the leave. Yeah, I even noticed too, when I'm hitting that tower with LFR's box, that's like 200 something compared to my 95 basic attack. Got a chunk tower, so just anyone in general with the other false park, if you bring just so much HP with it, so that's good to know. I at this point, you can kind of just build whatever against their kind of team cop. I think Crystal Lane goes pretty hard, and I might as well just pick up Tainted Guard as our last item. So, kind of like the full tank build, but I still do damage. So, might as well just uh, whip it on Prime. Because all our ways are set up. On my way, seems like Wobo needs a little bit of help. Oh, what? Okay. I really want to go after that Sarah's, but I kind of gain diff by my Wobo's wall. Mm. It's not worth trying to go for that. I think we just honestly just go on fine. Hmm. You can see the way, but my team wants to start this, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Got the root. That's huge, we got the kill, actually. Okay, push the into my clinch. That's another kill. Okay. Yep, now it should be a free prime. We can just go ahead and get that and I'll make the push to end really easy. 330 on my Elephant's box? Am I seeing that right? That's kind of crazy if it is. Oh my god, that kid was actually just deleting people. 
Okay, it's gonna be the blink. Yeah, and that should be the GG's, honestly. Yeah, they're not gonna leave the base, so... Honestly, that one feels a lot better than I thought it's gonna be. Like, he didn't got like any significant buffs, but it's kind of like a lot of smaller things. His, like, his heal kit buffs, he got his items buff. Like, I think the new, like, Fist of Wazoo, especially, is like, feeling pretty good. Um, just for the fact that I don't have, I don't feel limited to building this item. If I want to build like Fire Blossom, Elephant, or oh, Fist of Wazoo, third physical item, I don't think I want this fight. But since it's now just the HP static, it kind of feels nice to kind of just build it in whatever build you want because that item is actually pretty dang good. Yeah, so it didn't seem like my damage total number wise was anything like too crazy, but I don't think I really started to do a lot of damage until more mid to late game. And I mean, Zebra is not really one to kind of farm damage. You've kind of farmed stacks and minions, and that's about it, right? But when we did win on people, especially the squishy, I kind of felt my Q and abilities kind of chunking quite a bit. And I mean, I know like the Elephas, the Fast Fist of Rasu, Fire Blossom, all doing damage together. So it kind of feels really nice to kind of chase down aggressively onto people like that. But yeah, no, I think the buffs actually help him quite a bit. Um, definitely was a lot better than Dark's gonna be. Um, but you gotta still be careful. His other game still feels a little bit worth like a serious, like was able to like kill me close a couple of times where it, well before it was like not even close like several kind of wins that but now it kind of feels like you can kind of win them only if you like the better player which like i think i was only getting rid of some of those early kills only because i outplay him so i said well, it's not the kind of person you pick up and be like i pick him because i win no matter what because i'm gonna outscale once i do outscale two arms there's nothing they can do like it feels like they can still sh shut down a save walk at two or three items, right? You have to still be careful in the early game, but once you get to like four stacks, you got like four items online, you kind of feel pretty dang hard to kill. And I think that's where Zero has to be. He has to be more of a late game tank, not like an early game tank that has four stacks and can just run you down, right? So I think Zero is the best part. Maybe there could be some more love here and there, but that's kind of why the balance patches uh, updates are always small nudges because if they nudge a little bit too hard and say well now it's going to feel too oppressive but the small nudge already makes him feel a lot better i would say even for the, the more average show like your surely on this hero but yeah i'm pretty happy where he's at so hope you guys enjoyed today's video if not away subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single beat by your surely but other than that hope you guys have a great rest of your day here peace